Hey trainers, welcome back. You're with Pewter City Gym, and we're going to go ahead and carry on with our playthrough of Pokemon Scarlet version today. How y'all doing? I hope you had a fantastic couple days. So, we are here in Area Zero with our friends. Whoa, about to get attacked by a Corviknight? Oh my gosh, this place is crazy looking. Um, are they follow? Everyone's following me. Okay. Uh, let's just make sure that the team is looking good. Let's see, 69, 70, 69, 67, okay. So anchovy's looking like it's at the lowest group right now. My assumption is that we should still be training um, to try and get, uh, you know, a little bit higher level before we face any additional challenges. Oh my gosh, look at that down there. What are these glowy things? Like, wow, anchovies really going to town on these poor giraffe rigs. Corvignites. Wow. What is going on with this tree? Is this the inside of the great crater of Paldea? It feels different than just seeing it in the textbooks. It's so intense. Wow. Like crystal trees. Sana, that's not good. Can we even get back up to the surface without it? It should be alright. Last time I was here, I caught a flying taxi out of the crater. They always come through if you're a real sob story. Why didn't you just call the professor if she's down here? Don't you guys get along or something? None of your business, Pipsqueak. Jeez, no bite to m need to bite my head off. Okay, come on, you two. This is an adventure. Let's just have a good time. Um, okay. It charged into me. Oh, there's a flabebe. And a... Uh, braviary. This place is crazy. Raichu. Oh, I can't ride Karite on here. Okay. I'd love to know what these glowy patches on the ground are. Hyper Potion. Okay, that's useful. And I'm assuming that we're going in the right direction. I, I really don't know. Oh, there's a glowing thing up there. How do we get up there, though? So, Penny, how'd you wind up friends with Jim anyway? Oh, well, I guess he just came through for me when I needed him. Everything was going off the rails. School was a mess, and my friendships, well, ditto. Jim was a big help. Ah, so he helped you too while he was tackling all the gyms? That's awesome. What about you then, Nimona? Jim and I are classmates, neighbors back home too. Plus, I said he should aim to be a champion and he did it, so now I've got a champion bud. Wait, what? That's wild. Hold it right there, you two. You think you've got a cool friend? Ah, man. I'm trying to read all the text. I can't be taking care of these battles at the same time. Joke's on you, Talonflame. You're already faster than me. Level 54 for wild Pokemon, that's nuts. But oh, we got a crit. They're nothing compared to what me and him went through. Our, our friendship's on another level. Uh, no one asked you, stop trying to flex on us. Haha, <laughs> I guess we're all but in the buds with Gym Club. <laughs> okay. Hopefully it's a fun club to be in. Can you please attack these Jump Fluff? That's what I sent you out to do. Does he want to do that? Okay. That's fine, I guess. Man, I hope we're going the right way.
More crystals around the base of these trees. That's so cool looking. Let's see. Well, we can't go that way, I guess. Alright, so we'll go... Wait, can we not? Is there something up around this way instead? Can we? No, I guess we probably can't go down there if I don't have Karide on. Full restore. Though I guess my phone will catch me. Can I? Can I jump off? No. Okay. All right, we're locked into a path. It, it kind of seems like. Whoa! There was literally like a sparkly thing floating through the air, as well as on the ground. Okay. Oh, wait. There's a sparkly thing there, too. No, that's just the, the light on the crystals. Okay, never mind. Oh, I bet that's what we're looking for. Okay, so here's a research facility. That must be one of the buildings the professor was talking about. Oh yeah, what were they called? Radish rations? <laughs> Research stations. Hmm, well, I was close. Not really. Wow, you have such a great memory, Penny. What's great is my common sense compared to you lot, apparently. Shreen. What the heck is that? You should know what that is. Oh, yeah, there we go. It's a Pokemon La Primera uses. I don't know the species could be found in the Great Crater. Come on, Jim. Let's take it on together. I'm going to catch it. Come on. Go anchovy and champion Nemona sent out Lycanroc. Can I use a Pokeball? I cannot. Okay. Oh, wow. I guess my power wasn't needed at all. Are there going to be a lot more of those rare Pokemon down here, do you think? You think that was something? Please, you've got no idea how terrifying Area Zero really is. Wow, patronizing much? Easy, you two. Let's just head inside the research station. Okay, we got a Glimmit Crystal. Hold on, there's something in the ground right there. I want to... Oh, never mind. Ooh, big tanks of stuff. Wow, are these ancient ruins? They look far too recent for that. It appears you have reached your first research station without incident. This facility was constructed 87 years ago as a way station for those surveying Area Zero. Oh, it's got a bed in it and everything. So that's why there's a bed. Looks like we can use this place to rest up if we need to. Jim, if you'd be so kind as to disable the first lock on the lab using that central panel. Sure. Yes, we do. Better press it. Looks disabled. Three of the four locks are still active. Well done. Please continue your efforts at the remaining research stations. What's this book? Thanks to my prototype Terra Orb, I secured corporate funding for my research and made a laboratory in the lighthouse near Cabo Poco. Someday, though, I'll return to the crater and resume my study of these crystals. Okay. Ah. We've determined that this energy crystallization is linked to the being we call something. 
The interlocking hexagonal plates that comprise something's shell must somehow cause this phenomenon, which I've dubbed terrestrializing. Hmm, okay. Might as well rest. You anchovy and the rest of your team full of high energy. Okay, all right. Well, we've done this, guys. We did the thing. Let's go. Okay. Let's see. Is that... There was an item right there. Oh, that's such a bummer. That's so annoying. Okay. I almost never saw my mom in my whole life. Oh, is it time for the backstory reveal? Penish. She was always busy with work, hardly ever came home. I cooked for myself, cleaned for myself. Mabistiff was the only one I had to talk to. So yeah, I don't really know her at all, even if she is my mom. I tried not to think too much about it, tried to just be proud. But the truth is, I would have rather just had a mom who was there, even if she wasn't anything great. I haven't seen her for ages now, unless she counts seeing her in the screen or whatever. Used to get emails sometimes, but even those stopped years ago. And then here she appears out of the blue and tells me we've got to go to the Area Zero. Some family, right? Whoa, look at Chansey. Bouncing around like a kangaroo. And sorry about earlier, I shouldn't have snapped at you like that. Nah, I was just giving you a hard time. Wow, this Corvic Knight really wants to fight. We're too nervous to eat berries. Okay. I see another item over there. Man, this place is so sparkly. It's like the entire place has been bejeweled. Yeah, I don't call me big pip squeak, you big lug. That's the spirit, you two. Let's see. Can we go down there? Last time I came to the Great Crater, I was trying to see my mom. I got about this far, and then I got attacked by some kind of creature I'd never seen before. Ooh, what kind of Pokemon was it? It wasn't even like a Pokemon, more like this crazy, violent, rampaging sort of thing. You sure it wasn't just a Pokemon that's a little more, I don't know, rampagey than average? Yeah, I'm sure. It was like a cre completely different creature altogether. And I hurt Mabistiff real bad, so it's not like I'd just forget. I don't ever want to run into that awful thing again. Was that strong, huh? I really hope I get to see it. That's what I figured you'd say. We got Halucha. Oh, down the, down the hill? Okay. Whoa, relax, guys. Slip and slide. And I don't think we have any way to get back up. Oh, no, we do. We just hit the Y button. The wild lichen rock. Come on, come fight this Raichu. Oh, I just want to fight the Raichu. Okay. That's the other research station there. So that's two of four we found. The second research station. About time, too. What do you mean? That was so fast. We only just found the first one. Whew. Let us head in and take a breather. I thought you'd have a bit more stamina, student council girl. Yeah, whew, I'm just full of surprises. That wasn't a compliment, you know. <gasps> hey, look, a Jigglypuff. It's good to see some nice familiar Pokemon down here, too. That's not a Jigglypuff, you guys. <laughs> Poo! Oh my gosh, so cute. Oh dear. Poo. What? Wah! <laughs> Jim, it's battle time. Oh, but I want to be able to catch it. I don't want to just knock it out. I wonder if it's still a fairy type then. Screamtail. 
Let's try Glaive Rush. If it's still a fairy type, it won't work. It's got fairy type moves. Didn't affect the right. Okay, so it is still a fairy type. All right, Ice Fang. Okay, the attack fell. I don't think that's really going to matter too much. Wow, that really didn't do a lot. Let's try Crunch. wonder if it's maybe part Psychic type or something. Alright, nearly there. We'll do Ice Fang. I mean, it's super effective, but it didn't do that much. Seriously, what was that? Darn thing scared us half to death. It was definitely kind of ferocious for a Jigglypuff, wasn't it? No kidding. Come on, let's get inside already. One more jump scare like that and I'm done for. Well, this looks pretty much the same as the first research station. Seems like wild Pokemon don't come in here, so we should be able to catch our breath. Hey, seriously, what's with this place? That Pokemon? I've been wondering about that myself. I think maybe that Pokemon was one of these. Oh, what's that book? Monsters of Area Zero. As we descended further into Area Zero, we began to catch glimpses of mysterious Pokemon, though we wondered if these huge ferocious beasts were indeed Pokemon at all. One of our teams suffered a brutal blow from such a beast and was mortally wounded, forcing us to retreat for a time. Mortally wounded, that means this person died. Wow. A member of the survey team captured this photograph by chance. I noticed a passing resemblance to a Pokemon known as Donphan, yet differences such as its sheer size and the shape of, the, of its back set it apart, as do its great tusks. Monsters of Area Zero? So they aren't actually Pokemon? I don't really know. What do you think, Jim? I think they really are just Pokemon. Yeah, same. I mean, they look different, sure, but they use moves and battle just like the Pokemon we know. I suppose the time has come for an explanation. Professor! Some of the life forms that you see residing now within Area Zero are ancient Pokemon that lived in a distant past long lost to us. Ancient Pokemon? What? That's awesome! Oh, come on. There's no way that's possible. The Zero Lab, where I am located, contains a time machine. It summons the ancient Pokemon to this place. So the thing my mom spent forever researching down here? She actually got it working? Indeed, though the cost was catastrophic. The cost? But, uh, but a time machine? You mean you can actually travel to and from the past? It is theoretically possible to travel to the past. However, for a being such as a human, it would not be possible to return to the present. Well, that's horrifying. Mom, you... Why did you call us here to Area Zero? Arvin, I... If possible, I would like us to speak when we can meet face to face. It will be easier for you to understand once you can see the situation for yourself. Now then, Jim. Please use the central panel here and disable another lock on my lab. All right, let's go. Yes, we do. Lock disabled, two of the four locks are still active. Well done. Please continue with your efforts at the remaining research stations. Hey, Jim. You know that book she told me to bring? I think it's got something to do with this place. Or more like everything to do with this place. But I'm not the one she expects to fix whatever all this is. You are. I think you should be the one to carry it. Okay. A record of the expedition that the author Heath went on within the great crater of Paldea. The book has the name Sada written on it in clumsy handwriting. Take care of it for me, okay, Jim? 
I will. Let's check out these books. At last, I can resume work on the Terra project. I'll, rem I'll move my research to the Zero Lab this month. My team will be smaller, but no matter. The strong influence of the crystals makes our experiments much more unstable. The crystal's power is tremendous. Their unstable output made our corporate backers fret. But if we can harness this energy, it will open up research possibilities we'd only dreamed of. At last, paradise will be ours to create. Oh, no. We've heard that song and dance before, haven't we? Uh, between Cyrus, Lysandre. Uh, yeah. Changing the world into a paradise that only ever works out for some people, not for everybody. Okay, let's go. All right. Well, that's going to be the end of the episode for today, guys. I want to thank you so much for joining me. I really do appreciate it. I'm looking forward to catching you in the next one. But until then, take care of yourselves, guys. Bye.